If Corsair IQ stops controlling the MSI motherboard lighting, just terminate Corsair IQ and then reopen it. To terminate Corsair IQ, one way you can do it is if you have the notification bar visible on the Windows desktop, you can just locate the Corsair IQ icon. It looks like a little power button. Just right click that icon and click quit. If Corsair IQ is invisible in the notification bar, then you can just press Control Alt Delete on your keyboard, then click Task Manager. And that will open up Task Manager. Go to the Details tab. You can sort by name, so just click the name header up there. And scroll down to the I listings and look for IQ. There's several different IQ entries, but you're looking for the one that has the IQ icon and it just says IQ.exe. You can highlight that entry and then go down to the lower right of that Details tab from within Task Manager and look for the End Task button. You can also right click on that entry and just click End Task from the pop-up context menu when you right click on an entry. A couple different ways that we can terminate Corsair IQ so that it's no longer running in the background. After you terminate Corsair IQ, the keyboard lights should flash. That'll indicate Corsair IQ terminated. The keyboard is reverted back to the onboard memory profile. When that occurs, just go ahead and reopen Corsair IQ. And a lot of times, that resolves the issue by itself. So you don't really even need to do anything else. Then you can test it, click the profile button on your keyboard, see if the keyboard lights change along with the motherboard lights. If they do, you're done. If they don't, the other usual suspect is MSI services. So what we would do is the same thing. We would terminate Corsair IQ, wait for the keyboard lights to flash about three to 10 seconds, and then open up Windows services. So there's a couple of different ways you can open up Windows services. You can just press Control Alt Delete on your keyboard again, then go and click Task Manager. So we're back in Task Manager. We're gonna go to the top tabs and go all the way to the far right and click services. The services should already be ordered by name. If they're not, you can just click the name header up there and it will order them by their name in alphabetic order. And then we're just going to scroll down to the M listings and look for the MSI entries. And there's three, four, maybe more. But the ones we're most interested in are MSI Center, MSI Case Service, and Mystic Light. The Mystic Light one doesn't start with MSI, so you may be down a little further. Those are the usual culprits. Usually it's MSI case service, but if it's not MSI case service, sometimes it's MSI center and other times it's the Mystic Light service. So while you're in there, just restart all three of them. From within here, you could just highlight an entry and then right click on that entry. Click restart service. So if you want the expanded services user interface, you can click the open services link down at the bottom within that services tab within task manager. But for now, this is good enough for us and you'll see it, it'll say stopping. And then once it restarts over in the status column, it will say running. And then you can move to the next one, right click on it, restart those three services, then reopen Corsair IQ. And usually that resolves the problem. It should be working again. But there's other times it's been a couple of other services. So if that doesn't resolve the issue, terminate Corsair IQ again. Close the program completely. Go back into the services. Look for the I listings for the IQ plugin service. Go ahead and restart that one. Right click on it. Restart. Reopen Corsair IQs. We have had that cause the issue. And if it's not working, we have one other option. Go ahead and terminate IQ again. Go back into services. Go to the C listings and look for Corsair and Corsair LLA services. Restart both of those, right click, click restart. And once those are restarted, go ahead and reopen Corsair IQ. Test whether IQ is controlling the motherboard lighting once again. Usually one of those four procedures resolves the issue. I would say on this system, 60% of the time, it's just terminating Corsair IQ, waiting three to 10 seconds for the keyboard lights to flash and revert back to the onboard profile signaling Corsair IQ is completely terminated and then reopening IQ and everything's working once again. When that doesn't resolve the issue, then it's the MSI case service, MSI center service, or the Mystic Light service. So we just do the same thing. Terminate IQ, go restart those services, reopen IQ. 
And then maybe two to 5% of the time, it's one of those other three services, the IQ plugin helper service or the Corsair LLA and Corsair services. But it's very rare that it's those three, but it has been on this system. So we're putting it out there so that you can go through and get this resolved. Sometimes restarting the system helps, but if you already have a workflow open or you already have a game going, you don't want to restart the system. So you could just tab out, go and run through this procedure real quick, and it should be back up and running in a matter of less than a minute. Maybe some type of conflict with certain programs, but we can have Corsair IQ open running for days and everything works fine. Other times, maybe 10, 12 hours later, it glitched out and it's not working. So we have to go through these steps and get it re-initialized so that IQ is controlling the MSI motherboard lighting once again. Usually I would say 99% of the time, these steps resolve the issue. And you could restart the system, but sometimes that doesn't even work. You still have to go through these steps for some reason. So there they are. One baba luge, one bamboo. What you gonna do when the lights no longer work for you? One terminate IQ and restart again. See if the lights shine within. One baba luge, one bamboo. Two terminate IQ, then restart MSI service two. One by the 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 one